Discretion is advised. What is going on y'all? Welcome to a brand new episode of Train Simulator 2020. Today I am proud to announce that I have joined the True Rail Simulations Patreon page and we have our first looks here of the brand new True Rail Simulations Enhancement Pack for the Genesis P42 locomotive. Now I am super super excited about showing this off because I've actually been waiting for this since they announced it and I gotta say they made quite an improvement to the uh, g tracks and RSC P42 and it is so much better and we'll kind of show it off here we'll kind of go through and um, compare all three of them basically between the two number one is the g tracks version which is from 2011 number two is the RSC version which is from 2014 and number three is the true rail simulations version that is uh, came out this year 2020 so, coming looking forward from the exterior, the only main differences between the uh, RSC and the G-Tracks is uh, basically nothing. Except the uh, number over here is kind of pixelated, which I don't remember it being that pixelated. And then, um, other than that, if you come in the cab with G-Tracks one, we have a little bit of an older Pepsi can and... That is pretty much it. And you also got your uh, very, very, very bad default sounds. Then we come over here. We got RSC's version. Same thing. It kind of fixes that um, number pixelation, as you guys can kind of tell by the one and two. We come in here. We lose the Pepsi can. And that's about it. So there's really no differences. Sounds are different, but that's because I threw a sound pack in. But now let's go to number three. And as you guys can see, we have brand new screens. We have an older, older Pepsi can. Um, very nice looking interior. It actually got rid of all the numbers in the interiors as well. Um, so we don't actually have, like, if you come back into this one, you've got numbers pretty much everywhere indicating what engine number it is. So it kind of got annoying. I'm not sure if that's actually, like, prototypical to Amtrak. But, but yeah, so there's a lot of brand new features going on in this um, locomotive. And we're going to go ahead and take this train up to Naperville uh, here after I show you guys the, the uh, differences. And um, yeah, so you guys can see there we've got actual dimming and dimming and uh, illuminating headlights, which is nice. We also have marker lights, which is the one thing I have been asking for for the P42s for quite some time is we have marker lights now. Front and rear marker lights, which is awesome. Then we also have uh, rear headlights as well. I believe it's control H or sh yeah, control H. And then control shift H turns them off. And there we go. Also got some brand new sounds on this as well. K5 LA horn. And it actually tells you when the horn and the bell are on now, too. Same thing with the sander. Which is super, super, super freaking awesome. We also have a uh, cab light that turns on with the keyboard commands now. We have a self-load test. Now, I've never actually used this before, and I'm not sure how to actually use it. But it's number pad enter. And you can do a, a self-load test to make sure all your throttles are working. So I've never actually used it before. Um, not sure how it actually works. But we do have that. We got ground lights. And yeah. The only, th the only thing though is the windows don't open in this one. So that's kind of a bummer. But I will trade the windows not opening for as nice of a locomotive as this actually is. And we also have like other various uh, different function on this locomotive. So we also have ground lights, which you guys can kind of see turned on there and turn off. Better for at night. Number board light is also a separate entity as well, which is awesome. And now we actually have a quill. So you can quill your horn if you want to, which is nice. 
We have a horn sequencer as well. So it's kind of the same thing as the default. It has the sequencer, which is nice. Uh, light, we also have like a light casing, which is more for nighttime than daytime. And just all in all, a bunch of different improvements. Got improvements to the uh, snow plow, as you guys can see there, how giant that one is and how more realistic this one is. Paint scheme's a little bit more realistic as well. Amtrak logo was fixed. Um, you can also see the rivets on the uh, nose now, which is nice. Um, the only thing, though, is that the numbers on the uh, sides are a little bit thinner than they technically are in real life, but that's okay. That is also okay. As you guys can see, the different comparisons of the blue. As well as, as you guys can see on the RSC version and on the uh, g tracks version, how there's exhaust and how the uh, top is all black with the exhaust. The g track or the True Rail Simulations version doesn't have that. You guys can also see the horn model is a little bit different on the True Rail as well. So we got the K5LA on the True Rail, and then we also have just a random... A garbage horn on here the wording and stuff was taken off of the G or the true rail one as well so you guys can see that, that very like um, uh, blurry wording and stuff like that so all in all there are multiple different um, uh, updates and changes in this enhancement pack and I gotta say this one actually makes the p42 a lot more enjoyable to drive so I do want to give a huge shout out to the guys over there at true rail um, they made this enhancement pack for free. I believe it comes out the 26th or the 27th. Um, but if you join their Patreon now for as little as 5 bucks, you can actually get this early access to it. I ended up joining the $15 tier just because I love their work so much. And we are going to be showing off another True Rail Simulations uh, uh, locomotive here within the next couple episodes or so. So stay tuned for that. It'll also be on the racetrack. But... Let us go ahead and get on out of here. And if True Rails, if you do watch this video and I am missing something, do let me know. Um, because I do have your um, update list over here. So let's go ahead and get on out of here. I believe the marker lights should be on in the rear. We also got our Horizon coaches. Which doesn't look like the marker lights are going to be on, which is fine. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so, like I said, we are going to take this train down to uh, Naperville. We're we going to go, or what's the deal? Ah, okay, so I see how the self-load test works now. I see now. Let's go ahead and stop that real quick. So what we do is we hit number pad enter, which then puts us into a load test, so we can actually um, throttle up without actually moving to test to make sure all the notches are working so we'll go full on the notch 8 and then we'll just kind of slowly decrease see if all the notches are working properly one thing though it's kind of cool I like the older Pepsi can that they put in this one I like the colors a lot better I remember seeing Pepsi cans like that back in the uh, Home Alone movie um, haven't seen them in real life just in that movie um, but it looks like we're going up to about 1050 1,050 RPMs. And let's go ahead and reduce that. And it looks like the load test is actually working. So you can test out each individual uh, throttle uh, setting for that. So you can do notch 1, notch 2, notch 3. Let us go ahead and get on out of here. Very nice. Ditch lights do flash. Like I said, we got those working marker lights, which will definitely help out quite a bit in other scenarios and whatnot so I'm super actually I'm really super excited about that here we go here we go but yeah the sounds are a lot much sounds are so much nicer um, basically like I was saying the forward and reverse marker lights are now functional uh, the forward and the reverse headlights are separate entities as well so you have your forward and then if you want to run backwards you can run backwards it's not going to be like both headlights are on like on the rsc version and the g tracks which i always thought was completely unrealistic um there's a brand new k5 la horn which you guys have heard multiple times in this episode already um there is a working alerter with proper reset procedure 
So I haven't actually tested the alerter yet. But supposedly the on, there will be on-screen instructions on one of these screens here, or both of them, I'm not sure. And it'll tell you exactly what you need to do to reset the alerter, which is nice. We talked about the brand new IFD screens, information, uh, something displays, integrated function display. So these are brand new compared to the other two locomotives we had back there. Um, new type F coupler, which is from Searchlight Simulations. Um... We kind of didn't go over that, but that's okay. It's a brand new coupler, brand new snowplow as well, which we also mentioned. Uh, fading headlights and ditch lights, which is nice. So we can actually do those like nighttime runs um, and have like actual, like realistic fading ditch lights and all that. So that's really nice. A uh, new horn sequencer, which you guys saw. I don't think we, yeah, we don't press that anymore. It's just um, the keyboard command for that, which. There is a whole list of keyboard commands down in the description down below. Or not in the description, but in the description of, or the readme of the download. So there's a whole bunch of different key commands that you can use. Um, beware, one of the things I have noticed is that, like, let's say you add this P42 to a, you edit a scenario and you put this on the front of another uh, consist that's already been made. The P42 will not have all the keyboard functions. So you won't have the fading headlights through the keyboard, but you can do them through here. You won't have the quill. Um, you won't have the marker lights, or you will have no. You won't have the marker lights either. So, if you guys do want to use this P42, um, I highly recommend you make a custom free roam scenario or a custom scenario because it will not function properly without it. I'm not sure if they're going to make an update for it or not. Um, but like I said, I just know that that is what's going to happen uh, with that. So just be cautious. Um, brand new exterior paint with basic weathering. So you guys can see there you got that basic weathering on the bottom there. I'm on that like FRA uh, reflective strip and just a little bit above it, which is nice. Brand new sounds too, which is awesome. So new plow model, new horn model. That's They're both scaled properly, which is awesome. Um, new AI functionality so we can actually have this locomotive as a lead and there is also an option for a trail which is will be already set in the trail man we're in Naperville already damn that was a quick trip man um, so there's new engine sounds new script controlled physics which you guys seen with the load test um, there's gonna be some brand new physics more realistic physics than the other p42s you guys can see there uh, better braking sounds as well um, new cab click switch sounds, uh, inverted throttle on the HUD, so, uh, not sure where that is, let's see, oh, okay, I see now, so it's inverted on, okay, I see, I see what they're talking about, um, one second inutilization to prevent animation glitches, so basically that means when you first load it up, It'll um, initialize itself so that you guys don't have like any uh, stuttering or frame rate, frame drops or anything like that with the locomotive, which is nice. Uh, restored ADU functionality, um, dynamic exhaust based on RPM and startup, which is nice. And I'll show that off here in a second. I kind of outran this stop, but that's okay. Um, I don't think you can turn the ditch lights on through the... No, you can't. You can't turn the ditch lights on through the switch anymore. So the ditch lights just turn on with the horn. For the most part. So we have that. We got the self-load test, which we also saw in the beginning of the video. And we have different start-up and start-down procedures as well. So let us go ahead and... I'm going to set the brake. Set this in the neutral. And I'll show you guys the dynamic exhaust if it works for us. It looks like it's kind of. Yeah, you guys can kind of see it working over there. Let's go straight in the notch 8. Or, yeah, straight in the notch 8 so you guys can kind of see the exhaust there. And then we'll also show you guys the start up and start or start up and shut down sounds as well for this locomotive. So we're hitting about 900 RPMs right now. So there's your exhaust. And here we are at 10.50. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this back down to idle. 
and uh, we'll wait till it gets back down to idle, and then we'll go ahead and start, shut it down, and then start it back up. All right, so here we are back at 440 RPM in idle. Let us go ahead and shut down this bad boy. So the lights do remain on. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's charged through a separate battery that stays on. But we can keep the lights on. I'm just going to go ahead and dim them. Uh, just because that's where we're at. So they're just going to be dimmed. And let's go ahead and start up this bad boy. Yeah, so it's not Z anymore on the keyboard, which usually is start up, shut down. You actually have to hit the button. And what's cool is that it actually um, works. So you have it on stop right now. Change it to run. It actually um, lets you, the button actually pushes, which is nice. So here we go. And there are the startup sounds. Very nice. Very nice indeed. True Real Simulations did an amazing job on this. And I'm super happy that we have a better um, looking and a better functioning P42 locomotive in this game. So maybe soon we can actually uh, get some uh, possible free repaints from them um, in the next upcoming months or whatever. So we got like the Phase 2, the Phase 3, or the Phase 3, the Phase 4, all the heritage units and all that. Maybe even make like a few of the custom um, paint schemes that Amtrak had, like the Toyota Tundra one and all that. Maybe even a Via Rail. Who knows? Who knows? But that's going to go and do it for this one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below of this True Rail Simulations P42. Let me know which one you guys like better as well. Um, if you guys are wondering where the Horizon coaches came from, they are from the New Jersey Transit U U34CH DLC with a Amtrak um, repaint on the uh, train sim corner. So that's where that came from. And the Amfleet Cafe is just from New York New Haven route. So don't worry about that. But make sure you guys hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. As well as make sure you guys follow me on all the social media and join the Discord server. I will catch you guys here on the next one. Peace.